The Kite Runner is the debut novel by the Afghan-American novelist Khaled Husseini, published in 2003. Fiction in genre, the story is set primarily in Afghanistan and United States between the 1960s and early 2000s. Despite being a recent avid reader, I can get the feeling that the Kite Runner will continue to remain a treasure and an unforgettable book for a long time for me. The worth reading masterpiece that Husseini weaved is hard to believe as his debut novel, for it has all the elements required to engross a reader from the onset till the end. The Kite Runner vividly tells a tale of courage, devotion, pity, friendship, kinship, agony, culture, and so much more. But it mostly circulates around atonement and redemption. With every passing chapter, the book managed to pull every single string of my heart, making me shattered, dumbfounded, and inspired. The characterization in the novel was done so well that just in a few chapters, the readers can feel the authenticity associated with the character. Protagonist Amir himself was depicted as a grey character. One can hate and might even feel Amir's presence in the story a disgust due to his inability to stand against the heinous act that was done to his loyal friend Hassan and also denied to regard Amir as the protagonist. But none can question on the reality that all surviving beings have something that they are guilty about and would want to change it for good. Another component that kept me hooked onto the kite runner was the splendid thought process of some of the characters which possessed every element to leave the reader spellbound. For instance, Baba, Amir's father's philosophy on sin. There is only one sin, only one, and that is theft. Every other sin is a variation of theft. Baba went on to explain that when you tell a lie, you steal someone's right to truth. When you cheat, you steal the right to fairness. When you kill a man, you steal a life. Another statement among many more from the novel that tore me yet built me was, and that's the thing about people who mean everything that they say. The thing everyone else does too inspired me to always keep on track with the intention of my heart. The Kite Runner is one of those stories which is hardly ever, ever done throughout. Hussein's writing here has been a perfect blend of shocks and surprises, griefs and hopes, faith and justice, all the while being brilliantly constructed in a clear language. The reasons to adore this masterwork might be numerous, but that one, that one which stands more powerful to me is the fact that did this story has opened my eyes, including many others, to the world of the Afghan life. A world which is simple yet extraordinary, warm and rich in traditions. A feeling of strange familiarity lingered in it too. If not for this book, I wouldn't have realized sitting in the comforts of my shell the power it brought to live in the most beautiful house in Wazir Akbar Khan district, famous for Afghan rugs or the cursed road to Pagban. Reach with trees and fruits, the noble shrine mazar -i sharif and the more important trade road connecting Afghanistan and Pakistan, the Khyber Pass. I wouldn't have starved for Kabuli Pulau, Shola Gosti, or the boiled eggs with sandwiches, meatballs and pickles wrapped in naan which Amir enjoyed in his picnic with Baba. Though turning the page often brings a new round of tears, yet it is a remarkable story and will continue to be in people's heart with the course of time. Interesting is that how one's personal situation can be world away than that of the characters of this book Yet one can connect and relate to the book in so many levels. I couldn't help 
but wish to have a Hassan in my life who with conviction would declare for you a thousand times over. Finally, I cannot wrap up my honest thought about the book without stating my realization that it is one thing if you complete an inspiring story with devastating scenarios, ghastly setups which leaves you terrorized, but it is a whole different thing when you know all this were not all fiction. Scarier scenarios are still continuing to happen to this day and are more horrifying than ever. Afghanistan is at ruins. Living there are people who are aging without experiencing a single day in no fear, threat or hopelessness. It is aching to learn that there are places and people with whom no humanity is left. I can only imagine how difficult surviving each day in such a situation could be. I wish everyone who is oblivious to this humanitarian crisis spares a little of their time, studies about what is happening from authentic sources and find ways to help and mostly pray.